Ricky! It's 2023. First video of 2023. What are we going to make? It needs to be something impactful. It needs to be something that grabs the viewers and cements my, my, my viewer base for the rest of the year. What should we do it on? What about a niche fixed blade that is currently difficult to obtain that you've had sitting around for about a year? He's a genius. So this is the Wurtz Falcon fixed blade knife. It's an EDC fixed blade. Do you know how you know it's an EDC fixed blade? Because it comes with a cool little EDC pocket sheath. Hold it into my natural light source there. It's much nicer than the, than the yellow fluoro that I've got above me. So it comes with a little EDC little sheath with a little ulti clip on there that you can really clip to absolutely anything that fits underneath this little bit here. And press that one down and you're laughing. You've got a nicely clipped on knife that's really not gonna come off. So I've been clipping this one to the outside of my pocket because this came from Brad, who is a left-handed, I believe. So his sheath is for left-hand carry. So not much good to me. You know, I would, if I tried to use it left hand, I would just end up cutting my dick off. I know I would. I'm amazed I even still have a dick because I am not very, uh, deft with my hands and I use a lot of knives so somehow it's still there um, you know it's made 36 years so far so hopefully a few more eh so the Wurtz fixed blade it's a uh, you know AEBL steel which is a small batch makers choice steel really it's it got a lot of attributes that make it popular it's stainless it's easy enough to machine the cost is understandable or reasonable enough it takes a really really fine really good edges. The sort of the triumvirate is 14C twin it and AEBL and Nitro V all sort of uh, move around in a bit of a similar but not identically uh, chemical um, triangle, all about as good as each other for you know, in slightly different ways, but sort of sister stills or at least cousins or like, you know, southern cousins stills. But yeah, similar enough that you know, if you've used one, you've probably got an idea of how it'll perform. So I have used the Wurtz fixed blade off and on for the last year. I sort of I put it down for a while because I got some other knives. I picked it up again to do this review, and uh, yeah, it is still very good. It's actually one of the better slicing and cutting knives I've had for a while. It uh, really it does do the it, it does the feather sticks. It does it does the splitting as well. You know, I did some splitting and did some feather sticking, and then I remembered it's the Australian summer and it's 42 degrees Celsius. What are you doing? But you know what, it's all good for, for demonstration purposes, isn't it? And you know what? If I never did anything for, for any any reason but uh, but real reasons and not for demonstration reasons, I wouldn't have much much to film. Well, I'm not, not embarrassed to, to say that, it's just the truth. You don't want to watch all of us knife guys and think we've got these enchanted lives where we live like, you know, knife minute to knife minute, just drowning in possibilities of ways we can use our knives. We're the same as you. It's always a treat when you can realistically, uh, pragmatically, and you know, out of necessity, use your knife. Don't even feel bad about it, because I don't. So um, I've used it for all the things. I've used it on food, I've used it on wood, I've used it on boxes and all that sort of stuff. And the thing that sticks out to me the most about this knife here is it is supremely comfortable in my hand. It is a real fistful of knife, and really an EDC fixed blade is always gonna have a market because if you truly do use a knife a lot, uh, then comfort in a protracted task is going to be always better with a fixed blade knife. You know, there's no channel that the knife has to fold into. There's no pocket clips that are resting into any parts of your palm fat. You can truly just wrap your hand around a well-sculpted fixed blade knife handle and uh, it really does melt in. And the Wurtz really does melt in. You can see it's mildly contoured. It's not, uh, you know, it isn't like a Rambo knife with all the finger grooves or anything like that. Just enough to grab a sort of an index fingers worth around there to really kind of guide it home. And then the rest of your fingers will just fall in on that sort of uh, wavy ridge there. 
and uh, well that's at least how it fits in my hand. So yeah, really, really comfortable knife and the steel and the blade has performed excellently as well. So really, really good overall choice. Uh, relatively affordable, I think, you know, this is an incredible, it's a crazy time to be into like, um, what's really luxury hobbies, which is what knives are. Once you've got more than a folding knife and a fixed blade knife, all the other ones are luxuries, I mean, really. Um, so, you know, if you're into a luxury, if you're in a luxury hobby like we all are at the moment, then you know what, it's all expensive. Uh, it's $300 slightly or slightly less for a US made, um, basically handmade fixed blade product in a really good little leather sheath. So I think that is understandable, it's fine, you know. So um, affordability wise, thumbs up as well. Fit and finish wise, I assume even Brad had used this a little bit. There was absolutely no blemishes or, or knocks. In fact, any of the blemishes are on it now are because of me, because I use knives a bit silly like sometimes. So there we are. But uh, yeah, overall, really well assembled. It's got a lanyard hole if you want to lanyard it. Uh, the lanyard hole is you know a little on the tight side, but it'll fit a strand of paracord through or a strand of you know paracord approximate through and uh, have no issues at all if that is your bag, of which it is not mine. So there we are. So anyway, a little quick review on you for on on the Wurtz blade for you. And uh, yeah, if you've been looking at these, or been looking for a little fixed blade, something rather, just something that's a bit special, a bit handmade, you know, if you want to get something that's American, then maybe you can have a look at Wurtz. Maybe you'd never heard of them before, as I had not ever heard of them before, and now you have. So I will leave you with the information that is now bouncing around in your big brain.